This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to solve the ratio type of questions uh, by using the new Casio 570 EX calculator. So this calculator, they actually add a new feature, it's called ratio. So if you go into the menu and then you come down, you go to the C here, you should be able to see a ratio here. If you type the enter and then you have two different patterns. So first, I, I need to teach you like how to differentiate like both of these pattern, pattern one and pattern two here. So normally the value you want to find, do you see the X here? Supposedly you should have an A, B, C, and D, but you see an X here, basically X is the value you want to find. So you kind of need to see the position. So I provide a two different example here to help you understand the pattern here. So like the first one, they give you the ratio like two, three, and then they give you an X and then 27. Then you should know this one is the pattern one because X at, the, at this position, which is you want to find. And then for the second example here, find ratio three equals to 120 ratio X. You can see X is the value you want to find here. So this one will be the pattern two. All right, so here I will teach you how to solve manually first. And then also I will teach you how to use the calculator to do it. Okay, there's few ways we can solve a ratio normally. Uh, one of the method is, okay, we're comparing the first number with the first number, and then we're comparing the second number with the second number here. So, so you can see three go into the 27, you should know it's basically multiply nine. So if you multiply nine here, you will need to multiply nine here as well. So two multiply nine here, I will get my X value is equals to 18. Okay, this is one of the methods. And then the second method normally I will use is change them into the fraction like five ratio three, I will write five over three. And it equals to 120 ratio X, I will say 180 over X. And then I will find the X by solving this equation. So basically X will equals to 120 and then multiply three over five because five over three move to the other side, you will need to flip over. So 120 and then multiply three over five. All right, which is 72. However, I understand not every student are very good in the topic ratio. So therefore it's quite useful to have this function in the calculator. So let's go into the ratio in the calculator here. All right, so yeah, so let's try to key in here, see will we actually get the same result or not? So I go into the number one because the first example here will be the first pattern. All right, then I insert the A and B I have, which is two and three. And X over here is the value you want to find, so you can just ignore it. So you just insert a 27. And then the calculator will tell you, oh, the X value you want to find is 18. So let's try about the second example here. So this one is like A, B, C, and then you want to find X, isn't it? So it's a second pattern. So then I insert five, ratio three, and then this one will be 120, and then ratio X, X is the value you want to find, then should be fine. Then the calculator will tell you X is 72. All right, so it's quite advanced because I have the function like this, so it's quite convenient for the student uh, who are not so good in the ratio. However, here I actually like prepare two examples related to the ratio and let's see how to use a calculator to solve it. All right, so, okay, first is about the straight line. Okay, the question gives you an equation of PQ, which is 4Y equals to uh, negative KX minus 36. Yeah, because sometimes the question will not give you the y intercept, they will just give you an equation, then you kind of need to find a y intercept by yourself by changing this one into the y equals to mx plus c, which is divided four for every single one. Then you just like divide four here, divide four here, divide four here. Then you will get y equals to negative k over four x minus nine. And then because this is y equals to mx plus c, you should know your c is negative nine. Yeah, in fact, just now I already wrote the negative nine for you, so you might have some clue that, okay, this number is negative nine, but yeah, if the question doesn't give you, you also need to be able to find it by yourself. All right, then the question tell you a ratio. They say O to P is ratio two, and then O to Q, we will be ratio three. 
All right, then they ask you to find the value of k here. So in order to find the value of k here, we, we need to know the gradient r. We need to know the gradient because k, negative k over 4 will be the gradient. So therefore, I want to find a coordinate p here. So if I want to find a coordinate p here, what I will need to do is I will use this ratio uh, help me to find. So over here, I know this that OP ratio OQ is basically 2 ratio 3. But in this example, O to Q, the distance will be 9 because from 0 go into the negative 9, you should know is equals to 9 unit. Then this is the thing we want to find. So I'm going to put it as X here. Okay, then I go into the menu and then you need to choose which is your pattern uh, you want to use now. So I see the X actually at this position, I should know I will choose the pattern one because it's X then, then I will ratio nine, isn't it? So I will choose one here. Then this is two, three, and then X nine. All right, then the calculator will tell you X is equals to six. That's mean I know my distance here is actually equal to six. Then I should have this coordinate. This coordinate is called negative six, zero. All right, then this coordinate will, will be called zero, negative nine. Then I can find the gradient, right? Yeah, I know the gradient formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So therefore, this one should be uh, zero minus negative nine, which is zero minus negative nine over negative six minus zero. Then my gradient should be nine over negative six. I simplify it, it should be negative three over two. All right, then by comparing the position, I should be able to get K quite easily. So negative three over two equals to negative K over four. Cancel out the negative here. And then I multiply four. I move the four to the other side. It will be 12 divided by two. K should equals to six. All right, this is how we get the K value for the example like this. All right, here I will show you a last example before I end this video. This is trigonometry. Yeah, trigonometry in modern maths, normally we will use the ratio as well. All right, so the question tell you cos theta is two over five. Find the length of AC. Okay, if cos theta is two over five, you should know uh, so ka tua. So ka tua. All right, cos is basically, is a C. So this one tells you what? Cos actually is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's mean if I have a right angle triangle, my theta is here. This one will be my opposite, this one will be hypotenuse, this one will be my adjacent. Ka tell you what? Cos theta, this is a theta, all right? Will equals to A first over H. So therefore, by comparing this one, I should know uh, my A over here is the length of AB. My H over here will be a length of AC. So it's two over five. I can say AB over AC is actually equals to two over five. Therefore, AB ratio AC is equals to two ratio five. So we can always change the fraction into a ratio if you want to. All right, then the question asks us to find AC and then we have the length of AB, which is eight centimeter. So I insert here. So this one maybe is the things I want to find, which is AC, X here. Then it's two ratio five. Then I will go into this calculator, look for the pattern I want. So I want the second pattern here, so which is two. All right, because here normally uh, this one is A, B. I will insert this one as my A, as my B, and then this one will be my C, and then only X. So I will need to insert like two and five first, okay? Then only I insert the A, then with the ratio X there. All right, then I should know that my Length of X will be 20 centimeter. All right, this is how to use the ratio in this calculator. I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. 
voucher. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio mat and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye